Good morning. It is our last full day here in Honolulu, Hawaii. I'm sitting at a bus stop by myself because Heidi's not going on the hike with me today. I am doing the Stairway of Heaven hike, even though that's uh, closed down. I'm going to do the legal way and not get caught by the police trying to sneak in and do it the illegal way. But I'm probably going to venture off and at least get some pictures there and uh, yeah, have some fun. I sat and contemplated a long time last night if I was going to do the illegal way and risk it since Heidi's not with me. But I don't want to pay the thousand dollar fine, get arrested and everything else. So. bus app has failed me again. The closest spot I could get off was about an hour hike up to my hike. Unless I wanted to wait for like an hour or so for a bus. So now I'm walking through these neighborhoods just to get to my hike. Yeah. Now that I'm an uh, hour into my hike, I can now start the trail that I came to hike for. Also, it randomly starts sprinkling all the time. So I'm already like half wet. I don't feel like getting my boots that wet this early. Well, that's about 10 feet from the other one. Now one of my boots are wet. Yay. The trail has been pretty lonely out here. Um, seen a few people. So hopefully there's not too many people up there. I can get a bunch of pictures without people in there. But the views on the trail now pretty cool i'm going way up top well this trail has gone from wet to soaked there's a lot of these waterways that you have no choice but to just walk through them oh The trail itself is not glamorous. It's, uh, some cool viewpoints, but for the most part, it's just jungle-like plants that aren't really cool to look at. But I'm slowly making my way up there. I'm about one hour in, three miles. I think it's supposed to be like five miles or so to the top. So I got a little while still. Of course, there's a big Y in the road and there's nothing to tell you which way to turn. And I think I turned the wrong way because this is a dead end. Crap. Well, I've hit a point where I don't know which direction I'm supposed to go. They got pink markers on both sides of the Y. This side just does not look reasonable. So, I think I'm going to turn around and try to go back to that other one and see if I can find that. Because I just can't imagine that an actual trail does this. I'm officially lost on the trail. Neither way on the Y really gives you a good uh, option where to go. And now it's pouring rain. So I'm uh, gonna hunker under this tree for a little bit. Hopefully it stops raining. I think I may have found the trail. I just keep seeing all these pink flags, but a lot of those are markers for telephone poles. So I don't know if they're the trail or not.
stumbled off the path and found these guys that hiked this before. They've uh, gone off the trail. And now we're on this like extreme rugged, uh, not really a path, just kind of twigs. So much better than a normal trail, I'm sure. That part was unreal. So many not very safe areas. But that's an experience you won't have going on the normal trail. I don't, I don't think. There were so many spots there that wasn't sure we were actually gonna make it through. Took a lot of planning making sure we didn't uh, do the wrong thing. But we made it, at least to the trail. I gotta keep going up here and uh, hopefully find the stairs somewhere. I don't think you can really beat this view. This is unreal. Nothing like Indiana. Well, I definitely can't see anything. I don't know how far I actually am. I hope that's pretty close to the top up there. Because there's ropes and stuff, so you can climb this uh, extreme little piece right here. My heart's racing. And honestly, it's kind of weird to like look around and you see clouds and like hundreds of feet of a drop. Heidi is probably extremely glad she did not come with me. And uh, mom, if you're watching this thinking, oh my God, just remember you're not watching this video if I didn't make it. So you're welcome, I came back. Currently four hours into the hike, almost six miles. And I can finally see what this whole thing is all about at the top. I just still have to do all this. Wow, what a hike. Finally to the top. I'm just about burnt out and uh, I got to hike all the way back down. It got increasingly muddy. My shoes are caked with mud. So happy I did it. Honestly, it's one of those things. It's not really much to look at. So 
So this is one of those places where it's not really about what you're going to, it's about the journey up there. It's not really much to look at. It's one of those Instagram worthy pictures and uh, you know, a memory, but the antenna tower up here is old, graffitied. It's still pretty cool. So this is actually the illegal way to go. Um, going down looks quite nuts. Whew. That is beyond steep. I really wish I could go that way, but I'm not gonna risk it getting uh, arrested or something. Oh wow. You can't really see anything up here. Um, it's just high enough and not a clear enough day to have any of the clouds gone, but still worth the trip. There were some really cool views uh, coming up here. I'm, uh, I can say that I've done it at least. Unlike Heidi, she decided to stay on the beach and go shopping. But I made it. Now it's time to go back. Probably another six hours. Some parts going down is a lot easier. Like this part is actually pretty smooth coming down. This part I'm coming to is not gonna be easy. Whoa, nice. Now it's gonna start raining. Here we go. Okay, honestly, this is a lot easier going down too. These ropes, uh, it'd be impossible if the ropes weren't here. So the ropes are very helpful. Getting back to where you can sort of see way in the distance. Uh, whoa, that's deep. More of this.
Well, that's where I was supposed to turn. I went that way. This is the way back. Yeah, I, uh, I didn't really catch that I was supposed to go through that. I am hour six, eight miles. Whew. It's been a rough one. I'm glad I'm relatively close to the end. Well, I've hit the point where I know I'm so close to being done, but still have like a half a mile or so. I just want to be done. I enjoyed it, but 11 miles on a rigorous course like that, you just get to a point where you want to be done when you know you're close. And I'm there. It's like seeing light at the light end of the tunnel. I finally made it out of the trail. Time is 640, six hours and 40 minutes. 10 miles and three quarters. Oh, I'm ready to just go lay down. <laughs>